I work in Camp I, and I would say they just, um, we, our main you know, job there is care, custody, and control. Mm -hmm. um, so we, we bring them their food, we feed them, if they have requests, uh, we take their requests. Um, if we can fulfill the request, uh, whether it's, hey, my shirt is, um, I have the wrong shirt for laundry, then well, okay, we can get somebody to change that out for you. It's a different type of request. Um, let's say it's a medical request. We're not medical. We're just, we pass that on to somebody else and they keep them in action. Um, but I think for the most part, uh, they just, we, we talk to them. Um, you know, we ask them questions about everyone that supervises. That's all we do. Uh, and they just want to be treated with respect. So we, we do that in the most professional manner. And that's, that's our shift. Have you been uh, attacked by any of the detainees? Have they thrown you anything? Or? Me, personally, no. Um, there's been times where it's, uh, it's happened. And then we just we use the minimum amount of force to uh, take control of the situation, and that's it. They, they give their three meals um, at the same time every day. Um, we get, um, normally, uh, the breakfast comes in around, uh, 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 yeah, that's uh, okay. uh, So the breakfast comes in first, that's normally, yeah. um, and the coffee with hot water. And then we give them their, their food. Uh, we make sure that they all get their uh, designated food, um, some kind of you know, certain mm -hmm. condition. So, uh, we pass that out to them. Um, if they're sleeping, we normally don't bother, but we've been working with them for for some time that we know we're like, oh, this uh, detainee doesn't want to be woken up. So he'll just wake up and he'll say, hey, I need my food. Okay, here you go. So um, how do you give them food? Do you open the door? Uh, no, there's, there's a bar. There's a bar. Or like the, the little drawer? There's, there's just the, that's the slash box. Yeah. And then um, there's the, uh, we call it the bean hole. Um, and that's the other side. So that one remains closed, we open the top, we place our seat inside. And as we're doing their sanitary, we always wear gloves. We put their food in and the, the patient. And so then we uh, we close that and then we open up the people and they just get their food. Mm -hmm. um, if they don't want something, uh, I don't know, a milk or a yogurt or a juice that they don't like in particular, they'll just say, oh, I want that one. Okay, and we just take that. Of this painting, uh, Picasso said, uh, the black mm, isn't a sky, it's blackness. As for the, um, as for the, uh, um, um, as for the uh, lighting, there are two types. One that we uh, don't understand. It um, illumines everything like, 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 like moon light. The Sierra, the, uh, the uh, Belfry, and the man shooting who should not be uh, lighted from behind. But it sheds far more light than uh, the moon. It hasn't the same color. Then there's the huge lantern on the ground right in the middle. And what does that illuminate? The guy that raising his arms, uh, the uh, the um, the uh, uh, martyr. If you look at it carefully, you'll see that it sheds light only on him. The uh, lantern is is death. Why? Uh, no one no one knows. Uh, the CIA uh, uh, views uh, the, um, uh, the poetry in the Guantanamo Bay detention camp as a threat to uh, as a threat to uh, national security because of its potential um, use by detainees as a medium for sh for sharing uh, coded uh, um, uh, messages. In Guantanamo Diary, uh, Muhammad uh, Salahi recounts an interrogation in which he shared a poem with one of his interrogators. He, he, he writes, a quote, one of my poems went, end quote, followed, followed by um, 52 uh, redacted um, lines. 
I want to use these two images to navigate the interplay between uh, light and, and, and dark, between uh, redaction and revelation, and to discuss uh, uh, witnessing in spaces where everything is concealed from, uh, from view, except what is authorized by the military, where censorship is not pure destruction, and where, and where witnesses are sanitized in a state of controlled light. After conducting a, 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 um, a, um, a um, year-long clearance re uh, review, the United States Southern Command uh, granted me uh, permission in April 2015 to uh, visit Guantanamo Bay as part of a so-called media tour. I had applied as a poet uh, researching disfluency. I provided uh, numerous uh, documents uh, docu and, and references and agreed to several background checks. And then the final approval arrived as a signed country like um, uh, um, uh, uh, clearance uh, uh, form. I booked a round trip ticket from Fort Lauderdale, uh, Florida, the only airport with service to Guantanamo Bay on a flight operated by IBC Airways, your uh, a gateway uh, to the, uh, the Caribbean. I spent, I spent, I spent uh, uh, the uh, five days touring the facilities. I was taken through almost every site on the, uh, the, on the, uh, the premises. Uh, the medical center where the forced um, uh, feeding was explained and uh, demonstrated. The detainee library was where I was allowed to browse um, a lot of the uh, approximately 10,000 volumes of books and uh, magazines available to the detainees. Uh, Camp 6, where I was allowed to uh, uh, view detainees going about their day. Uh, Camp uh, Justice, where the trials are um, held. Camp X-Ray, the, uh, the uh, uh, first detention facility uh, built at Guantanamo, which is now completely overgrown, and where I was allowed to uh, walk through s cells, um, staging areas, and the interrogation um, uh, booths in the afternoon and at night. The, uh, the uh, frontispiece of my press, uh, uh, press uh, kit um, read, a Joint Task Force Guantanamo, safe, um, humane, uh, legal, transparent. I was never left alone at Guantanamo, though I was uh, permitted to collect a, 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 a variety of field recordings and write poems and notes on my iPhone. For security uh, um, reasons, I was not permitted to record what one public affairs uh, representative referred to as, quote, non-permissible um, human voice, end quote. I attempted to record everything else and I transcribed as much um, overheard speech as I could. Uh, when it came to uh, 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 photographs and video, um, uh, um, uh, uh, members of the media tour uh, were uh, prohibited to capture the quote, uh, uh, the frontal the facial uh, 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 views, uh, uh, pro, uh, pro, 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 profiles, three a quarter uh, views, or any view uh, revealing a detainee's identity. Uh, it, in other words, as one uh, the PA uh, um, a, a, a representative put it, quote, if their mother can't identify the detainee in the, in the photo, then it's a good photo. 
Every day of the tour ended in the same way, uh, with an operational security or OPSEC meeting. At these, at these meetings, we were, um, we were uh, made to show um, the uh, public affairs uh, repre uh, representatives our uh, photos, audio recordings, uh, the videos, and other our, our artistic uh, renderings in, 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 uh, in uh, case any of it constituted operational protected um, information. I went to Guantanamo to investigate cor correlations between stuttering, uh, disfluency, and lying. Uh, before the, um, before the visiting uh, uh, the, uh, the prison, I spent years examining inter interrogation uh, training manuals and logs from Guantanamo Bay and Abu Ghraib are looking for instances of disfluencies colliding with the psychological and grammatical uh, demands of interrogation. A, a collisions that mark, mark the body as traitorous in its porosity, suspicious in its rupture, and dishonest in its, in its faults. I thought that going to uh, get Guantanamo would bring me a, a closer to the apparatus of state interrogation and also bring me to a place of uncompromising hostility towards disfluency. The, intensif uh, the intensification of a more a, a general desire for speech to uh, greet the um, ear smooth and clear and for subjects and suspects to uh, make themselves both m understandable and believable. Guantanam Guantanamo, I th thought, must be a, a place of profound disfluency. Before a Arriving at the uh, prison, I felt an obligation to study the redacted and declassified uh, 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 documents and to witness everything that surrounds their, uh, uh, their creation, uh, the landscape, the sea, the temperature, and the soundscape of, of Guantanamo. I wanted to know uh, whether it was possible to uh, listen in spaces of trauma. But, um, uh, during my time at Guantanamo, this was one of my centering uh, questions. Is it possible to d d document absence? I also wanted to uh, question the ethics of that, of that brief uh, moment uh, when I was permitted to view detainees going about their day in Camp 6, I, I took uh, uh, Sadia Hartman as a guide, quote, what does exposure to the uh, violated uh, body um, I, um, um, I yield? Does the pain of another merely provide provide us with the opportunity for self-reflection, uh, uh, given the, the uh, barriers between us. Mm, at issue here is the precariousness of uh, empathy and the uncertain line between uh, witness and, spe and spectator, end quote. So when I watch those men pray and eat behind the two thick of the panes of reflective glass in Camp Six, but was my position ethical? What would be in in ethical response or reaction to that experience? Uh, can can the poems possibly m m emerge out of such an encounter 
and should they? I am tasked to, uh, to speak with you today about witnessing, uh, but when I see this image, uh, I only see my, my uh, complicity. Um, and other than in unethical witnessing, a desire selfie uh, marking, marking uh, um, uh, my place, I was there. Uh, pissing on a territory as if to Im imagine myself as the one the no one who bears witness for the witness. Uh, um, uh, when I visited the uh, medical uh, clinic um, at, at the prison, uh, we were uh, given a, t a tour of the uh, facility uh, and it was mostly the a doctor who was talking to us and telling us um, how she serves the detainees. Um, and uh, she also uh, uh, spent a lot of time explaining uh, uh, force feeding, uh, which she insisted on calling um, 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 anteral feeding. So what you don't hear at the end of that recording, because it was uh, deleted uh, uh, during, the, uh, during, uh, during an operational security uh, meeting, is uh, when she, uh, she said that the detainees are very good at telling her if she's in the wrong spot. Um, I asked, um, and, what does that, uh, and what does that sound like? And as, as soon as I uttered those words, a, a Marine um, I immediately tapped me on the shoulder. I, I turned and he, uh, um, he uh, wagged his uh, the finger and said, uh, you cannot ask that, sir. So in, that, in that dark silence, I looked at, at the doctor's tubes and I wondered whether it would be possible to put a lantern inside a human body. Uh, what would it illuminate? Perhaps the, uh, the uh, a question I asked was a, a, a way of um, imagining sound visually, a way of investigating and disrupting redaction through sound. 
I want to, I, I, I want to think uh, more about, um, about light and death, the two kinds of light. One white that grazes um, um, uh, uh, surfaces uh, superficially, and another white that, that invades, uh, colonizes, and occupies. In, con in, in, in talking about my experiences at Guantanamo, I want to avoid uh, 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 reproducing the very violence that, the, that created the, uh, the conditions at the prison. In, in his essay, Black Optimism, Black Operation, um, uh, um, uh, the Fred, Fred Moten writes, quote, Black Ops, Black Sites. What is it that now one has to form a paleonymic uh, uh, relation to black? to the blackness. Uh, the word persists um, uh, now under uh, erasure or eclipse, ceded to the state, to the law exception. Uh, the, the word is begrudged, um, understood as being in need of a highlight, um, end quote. I've been thinking about how to read this for a while. Uh, this uh, being in need of a highlight. The desire to shed light and thus eradicate the dark the brown uh, bodies, uh, color, skin. Uh, uh, countering the desire for witness, uh, Moton and Harney write that, that, that quote, the compulsion to t tell us how you feel is the compulsion of labor, not, not citizenship, exploitation, not domination, and it is whiteness, end quote. Uh, Moton re re reminds us that light, yeah, clarity, and visibility are concepts deeply tied to um, histories of uh, race. It's as, it's as if the light we're talking about now, su such as a light shone onto the body of a detainee that threatens to repeat or reify the v violence visited upon detainees. Interrogation, the occasion of almost all torture at, at Guantanamo, requires a, a product, a result, a narrative, the interrogation lamplight washes out the face. My account could, could, could be just another dominant and dominated narrative. Um, I could be a beam from uh, Goya's lantern that kills. And yet I can't deny my compulsion to, to um, enter to stand on a that threshold, to see the lantern in both directions, illuminating and illuminated, the light that reveals truth and the light that reveals death, to get as close as I can, as if seeing, hearing, or touching would allow for something beyond what text and reading can, I can do. Or, um, or that maybe, if I had the lantern I imagine now as attached to a body, then the laying of one's body down at the halt, slip, error, stutter, rupture, the body as seismograph registering the crisis, disrupting the smooth tr uh, trans uh, transition of training and, and, and discipline that other Wise conceals the wound. Here I here I gitmo under pressure for the wounds to re, re, uh, re, remain in, 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 invisible by order of the state. I can perhaps get buckle and slip and ask what it s s sounds like, and communicate experience that are seeped in unlight in the redacted and emotional uh, process that does not produce clarity, 
but is destabilizing. Emotion that messes me up and makes me incoherent. I don't know what to think. I think a lot of different uh, things. I feel a lot of different uh, things. And I make sense of what I, ca um, of what I uh, can. So, um, at the end of every evening after uh, operational security uh, meetings, uh, the, uh, the journalists were allowed to have something that they called special requests. So I would always ask to go and record in uh, different uh, places at different times of the day. So I asked to go to Camp X-Ray, uh, which was, um, uh, which was uh, 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 created in 2002. It was the, the first uh, facility at the prison. And if you can think about it, it it's, um, it's an open air prison uh, that sits in this huge field and, and the field stretches out with tall grass because e the e ecology has all taken over. So, uh, um, and, the, and the field stretches out until it hits a mountain. Um, and all of this, the, the, um, the, uh, the uh, um, uh, cells are off the road and in the, in, in the back are two wooden uh, booths. And in those booths, like a shed, like a woodshed, um, that's where they had the um, interrogation. So I asked to go and re-record inside those buildings. My, um, the uh, Marine who was in charge of, 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 of um, uh, basically uh, watching me the whole time, he took me there on his own. He uh, uh, gave me the key uh, uh, because he, he's uh, afraid of snakes, so he didn't want to walk. Um, up into the, uh, the prison. Uh, so, so I opened the gate and started to walk uh, uh, towards the booths. And it was, uh, I was, it, and it was late, so I was using um, my iPhone light. And what I didn't understand at the time is that on, the, um, on top of the, um, um, on top of the, uh, the mountain uh, are all these guard towers. So they s saw the light and uh, you know, and swarmed within minutes, right, of, of me in this space. And we get, so after I saw all of, like, all of the, hum, you know, like uh, those um, Humvees driving down the road, uh, I started to walk uh, quickly back um, 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 uh, um, uh, to the Marine. And that's where the confrontation happened, where it was, there was maybe, uh, yeah, 20 armed guards and just sort of asking, asking me why I was there, asking the Marine who was beside me why I was there. And it got, it got, it got very intense until the uh, Marines said, he is, he is collecting sound for a poem. And, and then everybody just, stopped and there was just complete silence and this very large man that took a step uh, towards me and he said, a poem. And I said, yes. And he said, a poem. And I said, yes. And he said, hold on a second. Turns around and he, he uh, gets on the radio and he starts talking to his uh, superior. And all I heard that I, uh, that I wrote afterwards was he was saying, sir, yes, sir, a camp x-ray, sir, a poem, sir, a poem, yes, ambient sound for a poem, sir, I'm not sure, yes, sir, poem, sir, yes, sir, ambient, sir, yes. Um, and then I was let go. So can, can, uh, can uh, poetry, as Peter uh, Gizzi uh, once, once claimed in an interview, but be a mystery in the face of 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 of, of uh, violence. At Guantanamo, at the prison, my primary task was to collect sound. The uh, Marines at U.S. South Com neither cared nor understood why someone would want to collect ambient sound. It 
posed no a threat for them. And for that reason, I was allowed into uh, places and spaces that others uh, were not. Uh, during the confrontation at Camp X-Ray, I kept thinking about those poets on the inside who write on their bodies and on styrofoam cups, and of one detainee in, per in particular whom I read about in a redacted interrogation. He wrote poems for months, and then his interrogators you know, uh, confiscated all of them. Uh, the, next, uh, the, next, uh, the next day, the interrogators um, opened another round of questioning by, by saying, we understand your allusions. Even the, even the poem cannot escape interrogation. And yet what threatens is, is, is a threatening about your poetry, is the illusion that someone else has been here. Echoes, as Lynn Higinian writes, aren't inherently empty. The emotional encounter, even in a, in the redacted poem, a poem reduced to a kind of nothing of nothingness, retains an active presence within silence. In other words, listening to the world anew, shorn of the um, habitual, m m m waiting to uh, crest into an evolving ev ev uh, moment. Part of why I uh, why I uh, wanted to visit the, uh, the prison was to go to the uh, library to um, uh, to also to try to get a, a list of all of the books that were housed there. And if you go into this space, it's about um, it's about uh, 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 16 uh, shipping can, uh, uh, can, uh, you know, containers or uh, the portables, like school portables. And in the middle of each one of those can, you know, containers um, um, is a long hallway. And in that hallway, on, on the right, um, um, on the left-hand side of the room, there's a little s sign that says 2003. And under that it says, D Deep, tiny art gallery. So on the left-hand side of the wall in chronological order, all of these paintings are hung up on the wall, down this hallway, around, and all the way to the right side, uh, which at the time was 2015. And these paintings, when you see them, they start out as uh, sort of uh, sketches of, of a desert, uh, landscapes, you know, like camels um, and mosques. And then slowly as you go d down through the years, they become, I guess, what I would describe as like uh, pastoral uh, New England uh, scenes, like horses and, uh, and, sail, and sailboats um, and, and uh, tea cups and, and shells and this type of thing. Um, and the, uh, the uh, guard who is in charge of this space was really excited to tell us as he kind of turned to me and said, so pointing at, uh, at, at, at the uh, 2003 paintings, he would say, you see? You see how much, how much, how much, how much better they're, they're, they're uh, getting? Echoes aren't inherently empty. And among the paintings, um, I saw this. Is this the uh, lantern of death carried by interrogators and torturers? Or is it the lantern that carries light and truth beyond cap a captivity. 
Mm, is this the light shining on the rear of, Go of Goya's death squad? Or is it the lantern light um, 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 illuminating those about to be executed? Uh, the lantern is death, why? No one knows. Is this the, the uh, death of, of, the, of the Guantanamo um, artists um, uh, too? But 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 uh, maybe this lantern is a kind of un, a kind of un, unburdening, uh, carrying light from the ground-born lantern or from undark interrogation rooms where light is uh, violence against the against the face, as both the agent of death and the objective way of disclosing these unspeakable. <laughs> hacks for for a posterity or 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 maybe the lantern is as hygienian writes that quote beyond the evaluative or the jurist or or jurist and something more than aesthetic and more than than a uh, nocturnal, obscure, and uh, dreamy, and something beyond synthesis, a swallowing everything up, mm, end quote. So uh, maybe it's the light that Picasso described in Goya's uh, 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 painting when he said that the light of the lantern illuminates everything even the, the men sh sh uh, shooting who should not be lighted from behind, who should not be uh, lighted from behind. And, and maybe this uh, lantern, like the detainee's poetry, as Ariel Dorfman writes in the after the words to poems from Guantanamo, is nothing more than the attempt to make breath permanent and secure, carve it into a rock or mark it on your paper or sign it on a screen so that its cadence will endure beyond us, outlast our breath, but break the shackles of solitude, transcend our transitory body and touch someone with its waters. And, and maybe this lantern is rupture, a quick a disfluency or incendiary act that in, incredibly lives through the violence it poses, even if we do not yet do not yet know in in what ways such lives will survive and to touch someone with its waters. I've never seen a horizon so, 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 so uh, violent. Uh, the light here never builds to, uh, to anything. Now let's Im 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 imagine m m m a detainee uh, painting this lantern before somebody uh, looks at it. Perhaps I take it off the wall before a guard interrupts. Perhaps I hold it by its edge and face some repetition of fence after fence after fence and think of the artist poet witness swallowed up in a place where, where the beauty and terror, art and atrocity are utterly inextricable. And this is something to bear, to carry, the weight of Salahi's 52 lines of redacted poetry and the, and the, and the lantern we hold uh, before an impossible fo uh, uh, form. Uh, the light in Goya's painting that T.J. Uh, Clark um, uh, um, uh, notes is, quote, not a general illumination, not the weirdness of Goya's 
more than uh, moon light. But a light planted on the ground given a shape and a size. The enormous lantern, its unlovely uh, geometry, stands apart from the agony. It is a house, a cell, an abstraction of shelter, a tomb, end quote. This light is death. Its purpose is practical, yet lighting the victims so they can be killed. Everything the spectator sees in the canvas is visible in this light. Uh, bending the light um, uh, to the will. Uh, um, uh, a light that can be bent at will. But the ways of reading the embodiment of power in the lantern from the detainee art gallery is, um, is uh, manifold. From its position on the wall, the lantern illuminates and implicates uh, the viewer, that is to say the witness, in a complex web of responsibility and culpability in the same position, facing outwards, the light of this lantern has a function similar uh, to that which Pamela M. Lee assigns to uh, redaction, uh, which he calls, quote, visible invisibility, and essentially an aesthetic uh, a phenomenon that, 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 that functions less to re re reveal than to de declare the uh, prerogatives of those who conceal." Mm, end quote. Uh, the the uh, name on uh, every uh, painting in the Guantanamo Gallery is redacted. Detainees are not permitted into the library where the paintings hang. Who are these paintings for? In what ways do the uh, uh, conditions in which these paintings are are, are made to are, are, are made uh, reflect, anticipate, or interpret the uh, conditions of the, of their display? How was is that lantern that light bent that to the will of the of the captors? Uh, the light from the from uh, the Gitmo lantern, its specificity brings death in the guise of uh, illumination. If light in the Western uh, tradition is a uh, trope of of, of 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 truth or hope, this light is a hope that illuminates slaughter. Light is shown on the face by the, by the, the captor and executioner. In this direction, light on your, on your face obliterates and, and, um, and anonymizes. Uh, you could be killed uh, with the light of hope on your face. Uh, when I had a chance, uh, I had a chance to speak with the uh, the uh, warden at the prison, and uh, I, I got one uh, one uh, one uh, question from. I, I didn't have enough time with all the journalists who were asking uh, 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 the questions. And I asked him if, if he could tell me um, what a typical day sounds, what, what does it sound, sound like inside the uh, prison uh, when he starts his day. And he said he walks in there and it's, uh, uh, um, it's r r relatively uh, quiet. He doesn't really hear a lot. And then he paused and he looked at me and he said, but if you're asking me if I hear screams, then I don't. And then he conceded that the one thing that he hears a lot is the air conditioner uh, drone. And 
because this, this, this space um, is, is so hot, as soon as you step off the, uh, the, uh, the uh, plane, that's all you hear is this kind of drone everywhere you go. Um, it, um, it, it's ubiquitous, and, and it, and it uh, uh, begins to uh, collide with and, and kind of, uh, you know, uh, kind of um, uh, like uh, meld with all the, uh, the uh, bird, bird, you know, uh, you know uh, calls and the sound of the wind and the grasses. So, when I was at the uh, prison, I I brought uh, Salahi's book with me, and I and and I'd read it at the uh, in at the mess halls uh, during during you know uh, breakfast um, and uh, dinner, and and after I spoke with the warden, I. I, I, I read this passage. The interrogators turned the, the air conditioning all the way, all the way, all the way yet down, like trying to reach but zero degrees Fahrenheit. But obviously, air conditioners are not designed to kill. So in the well-insulated room, the air conditioner fought its way to 49 degrees Fahrenheit, which, if you are interested in, in, in math like me, is 9.4 degrees Celsius. In other words, very, very cold, especially for somebody who had to stay in it for more than 12 hours had no under, underwear and just a, and just a thin uh, uniform and who comes from a hot country, mm, end quote. The, com the uh, composer R. R. Murray Schaefer uh, describes, uh, describes, uh, describes a, droning, a droning noise unlike, uh, is unlike the quote, some sounds, such as, such as yeah, bells, yeah, gongs, pianos, percussion instruments that have no apparent yeah, b b body and consist of exclusively of attack and decay. Other sounds, he writes, such as that of the air conditioner, uh, remain exclusively in the intermediate or stationary state. They, they, they do not die. A quote. They do not die. But have the potential to reveal what redaction does not allow. The, um, the, um, in the, um, in the, um, in the, um, Eyes and ease today. The um, intimate terror of hearing. The drone does not does not die. Its equivalent visual form might be a redaction. But the recordings I was allowed to take out of, Guant of Guantanamo are perhaps not redacted. Rather, they escape what power attempts to do uh, to light. A, a, a blunt, it's re, relentless uh, seeping through the cracks. I'm still working, um, I, um, I, I'm still working uh, um, uh, through what exactly happened that night at Camp X-Ray between the uh, permissible and the non-permissible and the nexus of uh, listening and ambience and field recordings as a mystery in the face of, uh, of, uh, of, of violence. The Marines on their two-way radios didn't hear poetry, uh, poetry as a threat, nor did they understand what I was listening to the, uh, the uh, um, uh, Marines of U.S. South 
of CELCOM had no interest in these re-recordings, no interest in the, in the notion of poetry as a tool for investigation, for witnessing. And so these ambient field recordings were allowed to pass uh, through the most intense uh, security. The, the uh, Navy, um, uh, military uh, police and Marines who were there that night as well as their superiors did not care or understand why someone would want to collect mm, ambient sound. Mm, in this moment, they are assuming that there is no content in these re recordings. Uh, background, background, um, background um, uh, noises escape redaction t t to the extent that they are perceived as, all, as already redacted.
Thank you guys for coming. Thank you.